This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Welcome back. First node that we're gonna be playing with is Event Begin Play. Event Begin Play can be found in every uh, Blueprint class. For example, um, it, it can even be found in the game instance. If we create a Blueprint class, game instance, As you can see here, if you type event begin play, nothing is going to happen, but we have event initialize, and basically it does the same thing. So what event begin play does is, basically when the game starts, this code is going to get launched. So depending on what um, class are we talking about, um, let's start by creating a new level and assigning some game mode so I can show you the example. So first, I'm gonna create blueprint class game mode base. It's gonna be my test game mode. I'm gonna open it, go to the event graph, and from the event begin play, I will get node print string, which basically is used for development purposes uh, it just prints the um, text in your left top corner. So, event begin play message. We can just type this in. And now, this game mode is not assigned to the level that we are currently in. So, if we press play now, nothing is going to happen. But, if we create another level, for example, so we can file new level, let's create new basic level, and this level has no name, so we are going to save current level as test. So we have a level here, but how do we assign the game mode to him? In the world settings, I'm going to select test GM, and I can leave everything as it is, because I just want to test and show you what event begin play does. So, because it's assigned the test GM and we made the text inside to print, now when we play, press play, as you can see, we have event begin play. So, that works great. If we select third person character, now we are going to even have our character here. So, as you can see, when the game starts, we have a be event begin play message. So, uh, in conclusion, we are going to use event begin play when we want to start the code from the start of the game. I will give you one good example of, of its usage. If we open our third person character, as you can see, on event begin play, we are casting to the player controller, we are getting the controller, and then we are, uh, as a player controller uh, reference, we are getting our local player subsystem, uh, enhanced input. Um, I'm gonna go over this node in the future. Uh, so now we are adding uh, mapping context here. Basically, this is for the input purposes, as you can be as it can be found here. You have these inputs and the mapping context that sums it up all the inputs. So that's our begin play on the character. Now, if we were to print string on our player character. and say character spawned, for example. Everywhere where we use this character, we're going to get this message, because it's on his event begin play. So when the character is spawned, it's going to say it. So now, as you can see, character spawned, event begin play message. So basically, that's event begin play. See you in the next episode.